if you or a loved one is dealing with a wound and you're looking for a trusted way to manage it, you've come to the right place. Hi, I'm Nurse Alyssa and I specialize in wound care. In today's video, we're going to explore Bactigrass. It's a unique wound care dressing containing chlorodehexidine. We're going to dive into everything that you need to know, how it works, when to use it, and what types of wounds it can help to treat. So let's get started. Bactigrass is an antimicrobial dressing designed to protect and treat the wound. The key ingredient in Bactigrass is chlorhexidine, a potent antimicrobial that helps prevent infection while promoting healing. This dressing comes in a soft paraffin base mesh and it's designed to soothe the wound while creating a barrier against harmful bacteria. Bactigrass is used as a primary dressing and always requires a secondary dressing to fully manage the wound environment. Bactigrass contains 0.5% chlorhexidine acetate. It's a broad spectrum antimicrobial that's effective against both gram positive and gram negative bacteria. This helps to reduce the risk of infection in wounds. However, it is important to note that chlorhexidine is not effective against spores, fungi, or viruses. It works by disrupting the cell walls of the bacteria, preventing them from reproducing and spreading, thus promoting a cleaner, safer wound healing environment. Bactigrass is used for a variety of wound types, particularly where there's concern for infection. It's commonly used in treatment of donor site wounds for burn patients who have gone, undergone skin grafts, as well as surgical wounds, minor cuts, and abrasions. It's also used as prophylactic treatment for those that are high risk for developing infection, especially if their immune system is compromised or if the wound is at risk of infection due to external factors. Applying Bactigrass is simple, but it's important to follow the right steps for the best results. So first you're gonna start by washing your hands and cleaning the wound and surrounding tissue around the wound with sterile saline or an appropriate wound cleanser. Next, you're going to dry the area gently and remove the protective paper from the Bactigrass dressing. For wounds with minimal depth, just place a single layer of the Bactigrass into the wound bed. For deeper wounds or wounds with undermining, use a single layer of Bactigrass and then fill any of the extra space with an appropriate wound filler. Finally, cover the wound with a secondary dressing that will hold in place and manage the exudate from the wound. Make sure not to overlap the dressing too much onto the surrounding skin to avoid maceration. Bactigrass is great for managing wounds with low to moderate amounts of exudate. The soft paraffin mesh allows the exudate to pass through onto the secondary dressing while keeping the wound just eyeball moist. Remember, it is best practice to keep the wound moist, but we just want it eyeball moist. However, if the wound has heavy amounts of exudates, you can combine Bactigrass with a super absorbent dressing. Just make sure to check on the wound regularly so the dressing doesn't oversaturate, which could lead to macerated skin and tissue breakdown. Before using Bactigrass, it's important to know some precautions and contraindications. Don't use Bactigrass if you have a known sensitivity or allergy to chlorhexidine or any other components of the dressing. Bactigrass should not be used with oxidizing wound cleansers such as hypochlorite or hydrogen peroxide solutions as it can interfere with the dressing's effectiveness. You also want to be cautious with neonatos and babies, um, especially those that were born prematurely, as it can cause chemical skin burns on their fragile skin. It should not be used on more than 10% of the body surface or on sinus tracts. If you're unsure whether or not Bactigrass is right for you, please consult with your healthcare provider. Bactigrass can be left in place for up to four days, depending on the level of exudate and the conditions of the wound. You can change the secondary dressing while leaving Bactigrass in place. And the expected outcome of using Bactigrass is the reduction in signs and symptoms of infection within 14 days. But if you're using Bactigrass prophylactically, you should notice that no signs of infection develop. If the dressing doesn't perform as expected or you're experiencing any issues, be sure to notify your healthcare provider. 
So in conclusion, Bactagrass is an excellent option for treating wounds at risk of infection or that are showing signs of local infection. With its chlorhexidine formulation, it offers powerful antimicrobial protection while promoting optimal healing. Remember to follow the proper application instructions and always consult your healthcare provider if you're unsure whether it's the right choice for your wound care needs. Thanks so much for watching today's video. I hope you did find it helpful in your wound care journey, and I hope to catch you in my next one. Bye for now. Don't forget to visit my website, thewoundconsultant.com, for all your wound care needs. Whether you're seeking professional wound care consultations, access to high quality supplements, holistic healing, digital resources, informative books, or high quality wound care supplies, we have everything to support you. Whether you're dealing with a wound or you're a healthcare professional, there's something for everyone. Visit today and take the next step in effective wound care.